Hi, I'm Vaughn Meyer from Northwest South Dakota producer, and I'm uh, here to represent the South Dakota stock growers as uh, chairman of their marketing committee. I was picked probably not for my speaking abilities, but I, I am a classic example, as one of them told me, of what will happen to you if you stay in this industry and you'll, sooner or later you'll pull your hair out. <laughs> Uh, an overwhelming amount of information has been put here forth in the last day or two and, and will be in the next couple of days and, and I, I respect everything everybody said and through this democratic uh, exchange of ideas that we can begin rebuilding this industry and there's one, I, I respect everything that's been said but I would like to pay tribute to what won't be said here today or the next couple of days and that, that is about as eerie and low chilling as, as a Arctic uh, cold front coming in in the middle of December. And that silence that we won't hear here probably in the next couple days is representative of the 370,000 people that have exited this industry in the last uh, 16 years. Those, those people have lost all their hopes and dreams for, for a life in agriculture. That silence is representative of the half a million family members that the last view they had of their livelihoods was probably in their rear view mirror. That silence is also representative of the 215,000 Main Street businesses that have left, left our Main Streets of our organizations. I, represent, I understand the silence. I see it every day as I drive across the road from my place to work and down, the, down Main Street of my town, Sorum, South Dakota. There is population zero, zip code zero. The recently, two feedlots in our area have, have uh, gone under and that, that's the only silence you hear, the only noise there is the wind whistling through the empty pipe corrals. Uh, drive, take a left on Omaha and Rapid City, South Dakota into the abandoned parking lot of Black Hills Packing Company. There's an eerie silence there, a, packing, a parking lot that used to accommodate over 200 vehicles from the employees of that organization. My point is here that we are not here to pit organizations against organizations, individuals against individuals, producers against uh, producers against feeders or packers and, and uh, uh, others. We are here to start rebuilding our, our number one organization in, in this uh, business and that is agriculture. We are here to rebuild the family farm and family agriculture in the United States of America. Uh, I guess I'm running out of time here so I guess uh, if Secretary Bill Sack and, and J.W. Butler were here today. I would like to say thank you to them from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of my grandfather and my late father for giving me the opportunity to stand here today and watch the rebirth of family agriculture and the beginning of, of a new tomorrow. And on behalf of the South Dakota Stock Growers, we want to say thank you to him and we also support, proudly support, all of his endeavors and wish you good luck. Yeah, among us.